This is my mama's makeup and crochet channel. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a tutorial on how to make this crocheted shawl called Salvi Shawl. Salvi, that's my mom's name. Up close, you can see these stitches looking like leaves. And these are like flower buds. When my mom was still alive, she was so into plants, so this shawl is inspired by her. This shawl is made with 8-ply fine cotton fingering weight yarn from Crocheted by Caris called Garden Room. But of course, you can use any yarn you want that works for you. I used 3.75 millimeters crochet hook for this shawl, and this is approximately 60 inches by 20 inches unblocked so uh, 60 inches here okay and 20 inches here i used up approximately 270 grams of yarn and as for the yardage i can't be totally accurate with this but according to this chart i found on google Fingering weight yarns can be 380 to 500 yards per 100 grams. Well, uh, based on that, it can be 1,026 to 1,350 yards. I'm guessing it could be on the higher end because this yarn is very light. So probably 1,100 to 1,300 yards. But this is just for this particular shawl I have made. Of course, you can make your shawl bigger or smaller and you can also use a different weight yarn. Okay, I'm just obsessed with these uh, fingering weight 8-ply fine cotton gradient yarns like the one I used in this shawl and like this one which I am going to make into another shawl. This is a 14 row repeat pattern, so we will just be repeating rows 2 to 15, so 14 rows. There's no special edging. You may stop after finishing your last repeat of row 13 like I did, or maybe after row 15, which I was planning to make as my last row for the shawl, but I ran out of yarn. But I guess finishing at row 13 works as well of course you may add an edging if you want or you can stop at a different row which you think would be uh, best for your shawl i just wanted to end the shawl on a row of only double crochets so i would have a straight edge so either side can be the top or the bottom when the shawl is worn for this tutorial, I will be using this fingering weight 8-ply fine cotton yarn, but this time I'm going to double it, so double pull, like that, okay? But with my shawls, the ones that I always make, I only use one pull of this, okay? So just 8-ply, but for this tutorial, I will be making it into 16-ply, so it will be thicker and more visible on camera, okay? And for my crochet hook, I will be using 4.5 millimeters crochet hook. But with the shawl that I have shown earlier, like I have mentioned, I used 3.75 millimeters crochet hook. Anyway, let's begin. First, we will make our foundation chain, which is done in multiples of 6 plus 1. This shawl right here, as mentioned, is 60 inches long, and to reach that length, I did 318 chains, multiples of 6, right? Plus 1. So 319 chains in total. But right now, I'm not going to make a full shawl. Just a small version to show you how to make this design. So uh, let's make a slip knot, And I'm going to make a few inches of chains. So uh, multiples of 6 plus 1. one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So there. But of course, if you're making a full shawl and you want your foundation chain longer, just keep making more chains, multiples of six, of course, until you reach your desired length. As for me, for example, this is the length I want. I am now done with the multiples of six, so I'm just going to add one more chain. Plus one, there. And I'm done with my foundation chain. And now, row one. For this row, we will just be making one double crochet into each of these uh, chains, okay? So one double crochet into each stitch, okay? So uh, first, I will chain one, okay? But that chain one doesn't count as a stitch, okay? I just uh, made that chain to make this uh, height taller, okay? Because I will be making my double crochet on that uh chain right there okay the chain before that additional chain i did that is the last chain for our foundation chain that was the plus one we did earlier remember so that one that i have my finger on which is now the second chain from the hook that is where we will be making our first double crochet for row one okay so there double crochet and of course double crochet also into the next stitch and double crochet into the next so uh, we will just be repeating this pattern so just double crochet into each of the chains in our foundation chain okay so keep repeating that and I will see you at the end of the row Okay, so I'm now here at the end of the row, just two more stitches to make. Okay, so double crochet into the chain and double crochet into that last chain. And row one is done. So this row should also have multiples of 6 plus 1 stitches because remember we did double crochet on each of the stitches on our foundation chain, okay? And by the way, if you don't like doing foundation chain and doing double crochet on each stitch of the foundation chain, you can try doing the chainless double crochet foundation. Okay, there are tons of uh, tutorials here on YouTube. You may check that one out. Anyway, let's check our work if we have the correct number of stitches. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and plus 1. Okay, so we have the correct count. And now row 2. So let's turn our work. And on that first stitch, okay, that uh, double crochet from the previous row right there, we will make a double crochet on that one. Okay, so you can chain 3 like most uh, crocheters do. So that can be your double crochet okay in the beginning of the row but i do my double crochet in the beginning of the row like this okay so this is a chainless starting double crochet so i will pull the yarn up to a height of a uh, double crochet twist it around like that okay and insert the hook through that stitch from the previous row grab yarn okay pull through two loops and pull through two loops anyway you can do whatever style you want for your starting double crochet i just like doing this one because i think it gives a straighter edge but if you want to learn more about chainless starting double crochets there are tons of tutorials here on youtube as well and our next stitch chain one and then skip one stitch and double crochet into the next stitch okay and then chain one skip one stitch double crochet into the next oops uh, sorry okay so 
there double crochet and then chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into the next chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into the next okay so we will just be repeating this pattern all the way along okay so uh, just keep doing that until the end of the row and i will meet you there okay so i'm almost at the end now so my last stitch right here is double crochet so i will be doing chain one skip one stitch that one okay so I'll skip that and double crochet into the next okay chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into the next stitch which is the last stitch okay from the previous row okay so i am now done with row two and we are now at row three okay let's turn our work and for this row we will just be doing double crochets until the end of the row so we will be doing one double crochet into each stitch from the previous row okay so uh, let's do our starting chainless double crochet okay into that double crochet from the previous row okay so there that's our first double crochet and double crochet into that chain one space double crochet into the next stitch which is a double crochet double crochet into that chain one space and double crochet into the double crochet from the previous row okay so again double crochet into the chain one space double crochet into the next stitch okay so we will just be repeating this pattern all the way along Okay, so uh, just double crochets, sorry. Okay, so uh, keep doing that and I will be meeting you right here, okay, at the end. Okay, just a few stitches to go for this row. So double crochet into that chain one space, double crochet into the next stitch double crochet again on the chain one space and then lastly double crochet on that double crochet from the previous row so this is our last stitch for row three okay and row three is done okay so let's turn our work and we are now at row four okay so again let's do a chainless starting double crochet okay as our first stitch right there and this time we will be making a different kind of double crochet okay i'm not sure what this stitch is called i am very sorry okay but uh let's see if i can show it clearly okay so uh, let's do it up close like that so uh, it's kind of like a front post double crochet but not really okay let's uh, try this one out so right there into the space and through the other side and double crochet okay so uh, this is front post double crochet right you uh, make your double crochet around that post but this one is wrapping our yarn around that part right there okay so into that space through the other side and double crochet okay so i am very sorry if i don't know the name of this stitch i just tried it out when i was uh trying experimenting a few stitches for my shawl okay and i kind of like the look of this so i used this for this particular shawl okay so if you know the name please let me know okay and then again through that and through the uh, to the other side okay so one more time so through that space right there and to the other side so we're kind of like wrapping our yarn around that uh, that bump right there okay that one instead of the whole double crochet post when we do our front post double crochet right so i hope that one's clear okay so uh, this is how it looks in front okay so there's like a cute design right there again this is the front of our shawl 
Okay, so if you want to see the difference why I'm doing this instead of just doing the front post double crochet stitch, I will show you. Okay, so I will be crocheting a few stitches of front post double crochet. So this is front post double crochet, right? So around that post right there. Okay, I will just show you the difference. I'm sorry if I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, but this is just going to be a little demonstration. Okay, so one more front post double crochet. I'm sorry again, if uh, you know what kind of uh, stitch that was, please uh, leave a comment down below. Okay, so right here, there's already kind of a uh, difference between the two stitches, okay? But uh, in front, this is how the front post double crochet look uh, looks like. Okay, so it's kind of like bowing down and it's adding more texture. Okay, so it's popping out more. Okay, but with this one that I did, okay, the <laughs> nameless stitch, it's kind of flat. Okay, so if you want to do front post double crochet, that's okay too. Okay, you can use that for this row. Okay, it's popping out more and if you want texture, that would be a good choice. Okay, because this one, as you can see, is flat. Okay, but it has a cute design, but not much texture. Okay, so as you can see, there, so see the difference? Okay, so that's it. Anyway, I will uh, continue doing that stitch. Oops, uh, sorry, I'm frogging too much. Okay, and uh, I will show it to you one more time. Okay, this stitch that is like front post double crochet, but not really. Okay, so there, double crochet. Okay, so again, okay, through that hole right there, through that gap, okay, and to the other side. Okay, so let's wrap our yarn around that uh, bump right there. Okay, so again, one more time. Yeah, so we're wrapping our yarn around that. Okay, so like that, and then double crochet as usual. Anyway, again, you can use front post double crochet for this row if you want, okay? And let's just be doing this uh, pattern until the end of the row and I'll see you there. I'm almost at the end of the row, so just a few stitches to go. So we'll just again do that stitch, okay? And then double crochet. I actually thought it was a camel stitch but it's quite different in execution okay but it looks the same in front of the work okay so anyway i will just do a regular double crochet on top of that last stitch okay so this is the last stitch for the row just a regular double crochet and we are done with row four let's turn our work there and now we are ready for row five but first i will just show you how our project now uh, looks like okay so this is the front of our shawl and that is the result of that stitch we did the one that kind of look uh, kind of looks like the front post double crochet stitch okay so there we have a little bit of texture and design and we are doing row five. So row five, let's start with our chainless starting double crochet, okay? Into that double crochet from the previous row, okay? So that is our first stitch right there, double crochet. But next, we will be doing a cluster of three treble crochets. Okay, so uh, bear with me on this one. So yarn over twice for treble crochet, right? Okay, and then we are going to skip two uh, stitches. Okay, so here's our double crochet. So one, two, skip those two stitches. And on the next one, okay, insert your hook into that one. 
and let's do our first incomplete treble crochet so there so again that's going to be incomplete we're not gonna finish that yet so yarn over twice another incomplete treble crochet so okay pull th pull through two loops and pull through two loops now we have three loops on our hook okay so again another one yarn over twice insert your hook into that same stitch grab yarn okay and then grab yarn again pull through two loops grab yarn and pull through two loops and now we have four loops on the hook okay grab yarn and then pull through all four loops right there to complete our treble crochet cluster so there okay so uh, we will be chaining three one two three and into that same stitch where we have our cluster we will be doing a slip stitch okay so uh, again okay into that same stitch slip stitch okay right there and then we will be chaining three one two three and we will be making another treble crochet cluster into that same stitch three treble crochet cluster okay so again yarn over twice insert your hook there grab yarn grab yarn and pull through two loops grab yarn and pull through two loops and then yarn over twice insert your hook okay i'm just going to do it a little quicker but uh you know the drill okay so it's just a uh, cluster of treble crochets so uh, incomplete treble crochets okay three stitches so yarn over pull through two loops okay and now we have three incomplete treble crochets right there and four loops on our hook okay and then grab yarn and pull through all four loops to close the cluster okay so there we go so those two right there kind of look like a set or a pair of leaves right well i'd like to think so anyway okay so that's our set and we will be making of course another one of that set okay this time we will be skipping five stitches okay so yarn over twice so for our next treble crochet cluster so anyway so that's our uh, cluster right there in that stitch so one two three four five okay so uh, skip those five stitches and insert our hook into the next stitch okay so we skipped five stitches okay and now we'll be making another treble crochet cluster so yarn over twice insert your hook grab your yarn grab your yarn and pull through two loops grab yarn and pull through two loops Okay, and then yarn over again twice, insert hook, grab yarn, grab yarn, pull through two loops, grab yarn, pull through two loops, and now we have four loops on our hook, grab yarn, and pull through all four loops. Okay, so again, chain three, okay, and slip stitch into that same stitch okay i'm sorry if sometimes i'm saying things wrong but i pay attention on what my hands are doing that's the correct one okay sometimes i say loop or hook or a different word than what i meant okay but please pay attention on what i'm doing here on the video okay so anyway there chain three again another uh treble crochet cluster right here so there pull through okay grab yarn pull through two loops pull through two loops so another uh, treble crochet cluster okay so uh if you want just uh pay attention on how to make treble crochet cluster okay a treble crochet cluster so there so again we now have three incomplete treble crochet so we have to close that one grab yarn and pull through all four loops okay so uh, this is what we're going to do okay keep uh, doing this pattern just making those uh, sets of 
uh, leaves, okay, those uh, treble crochet clusters, okay, until the end of the row, and I will see you there. Okay, but uh, let's make one more set, okay? So skip five stitches, okay, and into the next stitch, okay, we will be making another treble crochet cluster there, okay? So again, if uh, my instruction weren't clear, okay, just uh, pay attention on how to make a treble crochet cluster. So three treble cro crochets, okay, right there. Okay, so again, chain three, slip stitch into that same stitch where we have our treble crochet cluster chain three again and one more time okay treble crochet cluster okay so there okay so an incomplete treble crochet another one so through two loops and then another one okay so we now have three incomplete treble crochets and grab yarn and pull through all loops and now we have another set of leaves okay please continue doing that pattern and i'll see you at the end of the row so we are almost at the end now i'm just gonna do another set okay so here we are just uh, finished with a set of leaves and then one two three four five skip five stitches insert your hook into that uh, next stitch Okay, so let's start our treble crochet cluster. Okay, so there you're probably already uh, familiar with how to make the treble crochet cluster if you have reached the end of the row. Okay, so again, chain three, one, two, three. Insert your hook into that same stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and another treble crochet cluster of three okay so there okay so one more so there we now have three incomplete treble crochets and we will close it like that okay so okay so we now have three stitches remaining okay so we will skip those two stitches Okay, one, two, and double crochet into that last stitch right there. Okay, so double crochet. And that is the end of our row. Okay, so as you can see, they kind of look like leaves, right? <laughs> anyway, let's turn our work. And we are now at row six. To begin, we will make a single crochet into that double crochet from the previous row. First, let's chain one, okay? But that doesn't count as a stitch, okay? And single crochet into that double crochet from the previous row. There. And that single crochet is our first stitch, all right? Okay, and we will be making uh, another single crochet. And now on top of that treble crochet cluster from the previous row okay that one is the top of the treble crochet cluster okay so if we turn it around as you can see this is the chain three right okay chain three and that one right there is the top of the treble crochet cluster and that's where we will be doing our single crochet okay for this row Okay, so right there, insert your hook into that uh, stitch. Okay, so single crochet there. Okay, so right there, as you can see, we now have two single crochets for our row. Okay, and now we will be doing three chains. So one, two, three. Okay, so chain three okay and up next we will be doing a single crochet 
into that space right there that actually is also the top of the treble crochet cluster from the previous row so there is our chain three okay there and that one right there that open one right there is the top of our cluster okay right there so uh, single crochet into that okay so uh, for us to uh, close that gap right there there's kind of like a space right so we will make a single crochet around that stitch okay we're not inserting our hook into any of the stitch okay we will just be doing our single crochet around that stitch so in between these two clusters okay so again pay attention right there so single crochet okay so now we also closed the big hole right there earlier okay and now we will be uh, doing another single crochet on top of that treble crochet cluster from the previous row again this is our chain three okay and that is the top of the cluster okay so single crochet into that okay okay so hope i'm clear on this okay so again chain three okay and we will be doing our single crochet again right there okay single crochet and single crochet around that stitch okay in between these two clusters so single crochet and again single crochet on the top of this next cluster okay so there we have our uh three single crochets so now three chains okay so chain three and once again single crochet on that big hole right there the top of the cluster okay and now single crochet around that stitch in between these two clusters okay right there single crochet and now single crochet into the top of that next treble cluster okay there so three single crochets okay and now three chains please continue doing that pattern until the end of the row and i'll see you there so we are almost at the end again so uh, let's do this one more time so into that uh, big gap right there so that's the top of our treble crochet cluster right there so if you turn your work like that you will see okay so this are the treble crochets okay and that's the top right okay so let's uh, make a single crochet right there and then again in between these two clusters so around that stitch to close also that uh, big gap that big hole and single crochet into that stitch okay so the top of the cluster again okay so there's single crochets so we have single crochets right there three single crochet so chain three and on top of that cluster single crochet as well okay and we have this uh uh i mean double crochet okay so uh single crochet on top of that one so that is our last stitch okay so that is the end of row six and let's turn our work and we are now at row seven okay so to begin we will make our chainless starting double crochet into that single crochet from the previous row okay that stitch right there okay so double crochet and there's another single crochet right after that so double crochet into that next single crochet as well okay and also three double crochets into that three chain space so one double crochet 
two double crochet and three double crochets into that three chain space okay and into the next three single crochets we will be making one double crochet into each of those stitches okay so one single i mean double crochet one double crochet into that single crochet and one double crochet into that third single crochet okay and into that chain three space three double crochets so one two and three so again we are at the single crochets right there so one double crochet into each of those stitches so one double crochet and another double crochet into that single crochet and double crochet into that third single crochet all right so i just please continue following that pattern until the end of the row and i will see you in a bit so again there are only a few stitches left to make so a double crochet into each of this uh, single crochet okay so right there and again on this uh, chain three space three double crochets okay two and three okay so we have two stitches left so uh, on top of that single crochet double crochet as well okay and into that last stitch right there okay double crochet also okay and we are done with our row okay so right there and that is our row seven so this is what we have done so far okay so uh, let's uh, turn our work and now we are at row eight then double crochet here okay into that double crochet from the previous row okay that st stitch right there okay so we will make our chainless starting double crochet okay but into the next stitch we will do the same stitch we did on row four okay the one that is like a front post double crochet but it's not really front post double crochet but again if you want to do front post double crochet for this row you may okay but i will be doing this instead okay so okay so around that one so we are wrapping our yarn around that okay kind of like a tiny post Okay, so but if you're not comfortable with this if you don't like this stitch front post double crochet will uh, be good as well okay so i will just continue doing this stitch okay so through that and into the other side double crochet okay so one more time so there double crochet anyway please continue doing this stitch into each stitch from the previous row okay until the end of the row and i will see you there okay so we're almost at the end now okay so i have like three remaining stitches here so again that stitch right there <laughs> i'm sorry i really don't know what it's called okay so one more here Okay, so same stitch, but into that uh, last stitch right there, okay, we will just make a regular double crochet just on top of that uh, last stitch. Okay, right there. So that is the end of row eight. Okay, let's turn our work. Now row nine. First, we will make a single crochet into that 
double crochet from the previous row okay that stitch right there okay first we will chain one but that doesn't count as a stitch okay so next single crochet into that double crochet right there okay and next we will be making a small fan stitch okay so uh, skip two stitches so right there so one two skip those two and double crochet into the next stitch chain one and double crochet into the same stitch chain one double crochet into that same stitch chain one double crochet and chain one and another double crochet into that same stitch okay so that is our fan so again let's double check there should be five double crochets okay so one two three four five okay with the uh, chain ones right there in between and we will skip two stitches so uh, this is where our fan is after that skip two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch right there okay so we are spreading our fan out like that okay again after that single crochet skip two stitches and double crochet into the next so one two double crochet into the next and this is the beginning of another fan okay so chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet into the same stitch chain one and double crochet into that same stitch Okay, and that's it so let's double check if we have the correct number of double crochet so one two three four five okay and those uh, chain ones right there okay so that's our fan once again skip two stitches one two and single crochet into the next so we are making fans like that okay so that's what we will be doing for this row okay i will make one more on camera so after that single crochet right there let's skip two stitches one two and we will be making our fan into that next stitch okay so double crochet that's the beginning of our fan chain one double crochet into that same stitch chain one double crochet into that same stitch chain one double crochet into that uh, same stitch chain one double crochet into that same stitch and that's it okay so if you want you may uh, always double check if you have the correct number of stitches i do that sometimes when I'm not confident if I'm sometimes distracted so I will always check my count okay so anyway please continue doing this pattern until the end of the row okay and I'll see you there so we're almost at the end I just finished a fan so skipping two stitches single crochet into that next stitch Okay, so and now we will be doing another fan so one two skip those two and our fan into this next stitch so double crochet chain one double crochet into that same stitch chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet okay so that is our fan okay so again i'm just double checking okay and now we have three stitches remaining so skip those two stitches one two and single crochet into that last stitch okay 
right there. I'm just opening it up. Single crochet. Okay, and that is the end of our row. So that's it for row 9. Okay, and now we are ready to begin row 10. So turn our work and to start row 10, let's do a double crochet into that single crochet from the previous row. Okay, so uh, let's do our chainless starting double crochet. Okay, so right there. So that is our first stitch for row 10. Okay, up next we will be chaining two. Okay, so one, two. Our next stitch will be a single crochet on top of our fan right here. So we have to look for the center. So remember we have five double crochets in our fan. So the center would be the third double crochet. So single crochet onto that third double crochet of the fan so right there single crochet okay double checking all right so next chain two okay and then into that single crochet from the previous row okay the single crochet in between our fence that one okay we will make two double crochets into that so let's do double crochets one double crochet and another double crochet into that same stitch okay into that single crochet and chain two again and single crochet on top of our fan again locate the center okay the third double crochet okay so one two chain two again and into that single crochet in between those two fans make two double crochet so one and two so again chain two single crochet on top of the fan right there in the middle then chain two again and two double crochets into that single crochet in between the two fans all right so uh, please continue this pattern until the end of the row and i will see you there and we are almost at the end of the row so i have just finished making two double crochets into that single crochet in between these uh, fans so now chain two and again single crochet on top of our fan okay so one two three so on top of that third double crochet okay chain two and now our last stitch would be a double crochet into that single crochet from the previous row so so that is our last stitch and that is the end of row 10 and we are ready for row 11. Let's turn our work and let's start off by making a single crochet onto that double crochet from the previous row. That one right there. So let's chain one. That doesn't count as a stitch. Single crochet onto that double crochet. Up next, two single crochets to that two chain space. Okay, so there. Two chain space right there two single crochets so one single crochet and another one okay and we will make a single crochet as well onto that single crochet the one on top of our fan okay and then two single crochets again into that two chain space okay right there and next we will be making a popcorn stitch right here so in between these uh, two double crochets right there okay not on top of any of those two okay so just in between those two 
stitches so uh, to make a popcorn stitch we will be doing five double crochets okay again in between those two stitches so we already did one so uh, two double crochets three four and five all right five double crochets in that space in between those two double crochets from the previous row okay so let's pull up our yarn like that take off our hook and i will be holding on to that yarn with my finger let's insert our hook into that first double crochet okay let's grab our yarn and pull through that first double crochet okay and then chain one to close the popcorn stitch okay so that is our popcorn stitch and up next single crochets two single crochets into that two chain space so one two and then single crochet again on that single crochet okay and two single crochets into that two chain space and now we are here okay to make our popcorn stitch okay so in between these uh, two double crochets we will once again make five double crochets so one two three four five okay so again pull up that yarn i will hold on to it with my finger let's take off our hook and now we will insert our hook into that first double crochet right there okay and let's grab that yarn pull through that double crochet and then let's chain one okay so once again that's how we make a popcorn stitch so uh, two single crochets into that two chain space single crochet into that single crochet from the previous row and two single crochets into that two chain space okay so let's continue this pattern until the end of the row and i'll see you there i'm almost at the end of row 11 i'm now going to make the last popcorn stitch for the row okay so one double crochet two three four and five okay so pull up the yarn okay so right there grab the yarn out and chain one okay so we're done with our popcorn stitch next two single crochets into that two chain space one single crochet into that single crochet Okay, and again two single crochets into that two chain space and finally single crochet on top of that double crochet from the previous row okay and that would be the end of row 11 there and that is our progress so far we are now ready for row 12. Okay, so let's uh, turn our work. And now row 12. Okay, so we will be doing a single crochet on top of that single crochet right there from the previous row. So let's chain one first. That doesn't count as a stitch. And then single crochet into that stitch okay and up next we will be doing single crochets into each of these five single crochets from the previous row okay so 
one single crochet into each stitch so there single crochet and single crochet single crochet single crochet and single crochet so there okay but now right here instead of just making a single crochet on top of that popcorn we will be doing single crochet two together okay so single crochet two together so right there insert your hook so we will do it okay in those spaces right there so we will make the popcorn pop out somewhere okay so i will try to do this up close okay to show you more clearly okay so there will be uh, two spaces right there let's open them up some more okay so uh, there so one on this side and one on the other side okay and that's where we will be doing our single crochet two together okay so let's uh insert our hook into that space grab yarn and now we have two loops on our hook insert our hook into that other space right there grab yarn now we have three loops on the hook grab yarn and pull through all three loops and that is our single crochet two together okay and now there's another group of five single crochets right here so one single crochet into each of those stitches so two three four and five so five single crochets and next we are at the popcorn again so again let's open up those sides right there so we will have enough space and then let's insert our hook into that space grab yarn we have two loops on our hook insert hook into that other side okay open up that space grab yarn and now we have three loops on our hook grab yarn and pull through all three loops and that's another single crochet two together up next one single crochet into each of the next five single crochet stitches okay so please continue doing this pattern until the end of the row and i will meet you there and now we only have a few stitches remaining before the end of the row okay so i've just finished this group of five single crochets and now i'm at the popcorn again okay so i will be doing single crochet two together okay so right there so that's our single crochet two together and again single crochet into each of the next five single crochet stitches okay so one two three four five okay and now we have one stitch left okay and also we're going to do single crochet into that last stitch right there and this is the end of row 12. let's turn our work and now row 13 and this row will just all be double crochets okay double crochet into each of the uh, stitches from the previous row okay so right there let's begin with our chainless starting double crochet and then double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into each of the following stitches until the end of the row okay so we will just be doing double crochet all the way along 
okay so continue doing that and i'll see you at the end okay so we are now here with just a few stitches remaining okay so again just double crochet then double crochet and finally double crochet into that last stitch okay and row 13 is done okay so right there just all double crochets and then let's turn our work and now row 14 okay so we will begin with our chainless starting double crochet into that stitch right there okay the double crochet from the previous row okay and next stitch will be chain one okay so chain one and then we will skip this next stitch right there and we will make a double crochet into the next one okay so again chain one and skip let's uh, skip one stitch and double crochet into the next okay again chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into the next so this is the pattern that we will be following for this entire row so please continue doing that until the end of the row and i will meet you there okay so a few stitches to go for row 14 so i'm done with double crochet right there so chain one let's skip one stitch double crochet into the next one okay chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into that last stitch right there from the previous row and we are done with row 14 okay and next will be row 15 the last row for this repeat pattern okay so let's turn our work okay again this is the last row for our 14 row repeat pattern okay so let's start off with a starting chainless double crochet okay into that double crochet right there from the previous row okay so double crochet okay and next stitch will also be double crochet okay but into that chain one space okay and then double crochet into that double crochet from the previous row double crochet into the chain one space and double crochet into the next stitch which is the double crochet so basically it's just one double crochet into each of the stitches from the previous row so double crochet into the chain one space double crochet into the double crochet stitch okay so this is the pattern that we will be making until the end of the row so uh, continue doing that please and i'll see you at the end and we are almost at the finish line so a few stitches remaining for row 15 so double crochet into that double crochet okay so double crochet into the chain one space and finally double crochet into that last stitch right there okay and we are done with row 15 so again that is the last row for our repeat pattern 14 row repeat pattern okay so the next row after row 15 will be row 2 and then row 3 and then 4 and so on and so forth okay so you can make as many repetitions as you want okay so right there so that's the 14 row repeat that we will be repeating until you reach 
your desired size okay for your shawl for your shawl okay so once again i will show you my finished shawl okay to uh, just to give you an idea how it will look like with multiple repetitions okay so this is what we did earlier so this right here from row 1 to 15 and our repetition will be from row 2 to 15 okay right there Okay, so I think I did five repeats of the pattern for this shawl. And again, I ended the shawl at row 13. But I do recommend ending the shawl at row 15. Or it's up to you. Maybe you want to add a border that's fine as well. Okay, but I just did mine on a straight edge okay like this so this is how it will look like when the shawl is finished at row 15 so it's like a rectangle with straight edges so i kind of like that style well thank you so much for watching if you have questions or clarifications feel free to leave a comment down below and i will do my best to answer them also, if you would be able to finish a shawl based on this pattern, you may tag me on Facebook or Instagram. Both links are in the description box. Once again, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! Like if you like this video. Subscribe if you love it. Share if you care. Thank you for watching. Bye!